Mobile USA last week said it would throttle Apple Watch cellular data speeds to 512 kbps unless customers paid double the normal $1.10 per month service charge, but it quickly backtracked after criticism from customers. As reported by McCoomers on Friday, Mobile was advertising unlimited talk, text, and data at 512 kbps on your smartwatch for $10 a month. The speed limitation was noted on the pre-order page when adding an Apple Watch Series 3 to your cart and apparently applied to any smartwatch. Customers could get the Apple Watch's full LTE speeds by paying $20 per month by purchasing a pair digits plan. If customers feel they need high-speed data, they can choose high-speed data with pair digits for $20 with auto-pay, or $25 per month if auto-pay isn't enabled, Tmobile told The Verge Friday. I heard your frustration with the new Apple Watch enabling high-speed LTE connectivity, Tmobile received some immediate criticism from customers. Within hours, Tmobile CEO John Legier announced a change in policy on Twitter. I heard your frustration about the Apple Watch plan, Legia wrote. I sincerely believe in listening to our customers, have dug into this. Instead of the original plan to charge more for LTE speeds, Legia wrote, the Apple Watch Series 3 plan on Tmobile will be $10 million for unlimited 4G LTE. Thanks for your feedback. We always listen Act 1 heard your frustration about the Apple Watch plan. I sincerely believe in listening to our customers, have dug into this, John Legier at John Legier September 16, 2017 The 512 kbps limit might not have been noticeable for most customers. One of the most bandwidth V applications for Apple Watch is Apple Music, which streams at a 256 kbps bitrate. The watch might temporarily download at a higher bitrate in order to buffer a song, though, for best battery consumption, you want to download your data as fast as possible, then return to LTE idle mode, mobile application developer Jake Hammy pointed out. Still, 512 kbps should be enough to stream music, as long as the watch's connection to the Tmobile network remains steady. Tmobile was counting on this, telling The Verge that customers can do everything they want to do with the watch at 512 kbps. But the watch's low bandwidth needs relative to smartphones and tablets mean that any sort of throttling likely isn't necessary from a network management perspective. Legier's quick decision to change the policy suggests that Mobile's network can handle the extra speeds. We contacted the other major carriers about their Apple Watch policies on Friday before Mobile announced its change in plans. ATT, Verizon, and Sprint all told ours that they will offer LTE connectivity on the watch for the standard $1.10 per month rate. All four major carriers are offering three free months of Apple Watch connectivity before the monthly rate kicks in.